Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to handle Selenium web driver exceptions. Let me answer. We have to use something known as try catch blocks in order to handle Selenium web driver exceptions. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have some sample Selenium automation code which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser window, and for opening this application URL. After opening this application URL in the browser, okay, so let me write some Selenium code which will give you some Selenium web driver exception, okay? First, I'm not going to handle the exception. I'm going to show you how the Selenium web driver exception occurs. So for that, I'll open this browser and take you to this application, omai.blogspot.com. And on this application page, on this application page, I would like to click on this uh, button, let's say. Okay, inspect this button. This button has an ID, copy this ID, copy this ID, and here write down driver dot find element by dot ID and give the ID locator of that particular button. I would like to click on the button. So this code is not going to give you any exception, okay? Because this ID locator is properly given. So this code is not give, going to give you any exception. Rather, if I run this code, it will click on the button and will get an alert displayed on the page, okay? So it'll click on the button and alert will be displayed on the page. You see that? You click on the button and the alert will be displayed without any exception, okay? There will not be any exception in this case. You see, button got clicked, alert got displayed, okay? So the button which I'm trying to click, right, this particular button, when I click, it will get an alert. So that proves that the button has been clicked. What if I do some changes here? That is, instead of alert one, right, I'll say two, three. So the button having this uh, ID as alert one, two, three doesn't exist because of which this statement, this part, this highlighted part will give you an exception known as no such element exception. Run this code, you'll get an exception known as no such element exception. Instead of the button getting clicked this time, you'll get an exception saying no such element exception. Just wait. Let it click on, it will not click on the button. You see the button is not getting clicked, the alert is not getting coming. Just go to the output console of Eclipse ID and see that you got an exception here, exception in the red main saying, no such element exception, okay? So we try to click on the element having the given locator alert one, two, three, which doesn't exist because of which we got this no such element, one of the exception types in Selenium web driver, okay? So this is one of the Selenium web driver exception, no such element exception is from Selenium, okay? From Selenium library, we got this exception. How to handle such kind of Selenium web driver exceptions? For that, we can do something like surround this statement, which is a uh, where there is a possibility of that no such element exception with try block and in the catch block, you know which type of exception matter that is no such element exception. So write down no such element exception E. Write down like this over the mouse and import this no such element exception from Selenium library. Now write down here. Okay, Selenium, uh, otherwise I'll write down here, no, no such element exception got handled here. This statement will be printed if the exception comes in this line and it's handled with the help of try catch block. Okay, so here I'll write one more print statement. So what is the advantage of handling the exception? Why we have to handle the exception? If an exception comes, the program will stop there itself. The remaining steps after the statement throwing an exception will not be executed. But what if I write a statement here? This statement will be executed, okay? Because the exception is getting handled with the help of try catch block, the execution will not stop, it will continue. And the remaining statements after this exception statement also will be executed, okay? End of this program. Now save this and run this. Application. This time you will see the exception will be handled and the end of this program also will be printed. 
the execution will not stop because of the exception rather you see the program execution continued and you see no such element exception got handled or printed that means the uh, catch block got executed because of the exception in the try block the catch block got executed and it got handled the exception got successfully handled because of which the remaining code inside this uh, program is continued with the execution and end of this program got printed so hope guys you understood how to handle selenium webdriver exceptions so that's all for this session thank you bye bye